Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Primal Edu World, your quick and easy online guide to computer tips and tricks and learning coding. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe now and don't forget to click the bell icon so that you are the first ones to get notifications of all our upcoming videos. Friends, in today's video we are going to see how we can do student attendance with QR code. In today's COVID world where everything has become online, Using the QR code is the best and safest option. Especially when we're talking about school attendance, QR codes ensure that no unwanted person is able to enter the class. Now, let's see how we can do this. Go to Google and type sheets.new. A new spreadsheet will open. We will rename this class 10 attendance. And save this in a folder where you can access it easily later. Now we have some data for students. Here you can see we have first name and last name. Now in column C, we get the full names for these students. Go to the cell just below the heading and type is equal to A2 which is for Philip's first name. Open double quotations, space, close double quotation and B2 for his last name and press enter. So here we have Philip John's full name. Now simply double click on this cell or select and drag down and you'll have the full names of all the other students. Now in column D, we want to get the URL link for all of these students. For this, we'll go back, we'll open a new tab in Google and type forms.new this will open an untitled form here again we'll rename this to class 10 attendance and below in untitled question we will type student name since this is the form which has all the student names. Now here, we'll go back to our spreadsheet and copy all the names. Come back to our form and select multiple choice from short answers and in option 1, paste. So here we have all the student names. Now click on the three dots and click on get pre-filled link again we have student names we select philip john and click on get link and then copy the link go to our spreadsheet and paste this link in the url for philip john now we can simply repeat this process for all the other students but if you have a large number of students it becomes very tiring so instead what you can do is we select the cell with the link and in go to formula bar and instead of view form we will type form response and then after the question mark delete all characters till entry and press enter again select the link go to formula bar and before https type is equal to open quotation and in the end, just before Philip, we will type open quotation and and instead of Philip, we will type A2. And open quotation and after the plus again quotation and and instead of John, B2 and press enter. Now, Simply double click on the URL link for Philip John and we have the URL links for all our students. 
Now, for the main part, we have to create QR codes for all these students. So, in column E, we have to get the QR codes. For this, open a new tab in Google and type QR API Google. Select the first result that you get, that is developers.google.com. Uh, below you have a root URL, simply copy this, go to our spreadsheet and since this is an image, we will type is equal to image, open bracket and open quotation, and paste this link. Now this link is incomplete, we will go back to the Google tab, there are some parameters that are required to be entered in the added in the uh, URL for the uh, code. So here we will copy the parameter for uh, specify a QR code. Go back to the spreadsheet and paste it there. And after this, type and character. Go back to the Google tab. Copy the parameter for image size. CHS is equal to back to spreadsheet, paste. And here we will give the specifications, which is 150 into 150. After this, again, and character, go back to Google tab and copy the parameter for data to input. CHL is equal to back to spreadsheet and paste it. And after the is equal to, we'll type double quotation and and D2. Since we have to link the URL for each student with their QR code and press enter. Now we have got the QR code for Philip John. Again, just select and drag down. And we have the QR codes for all the students. Now you can resize your QR codes as you wish. Now let's go back to forms. Now here you can see we have the names but under the responses we have no response as of now because none of the students has yet mark their attendance using the QR code. Now how can this be done? They can do this, they can mark their attendance using QR code uh, on their smartphones either Android or iPhone. We will do a few here so that we can get responses in our form. For this, we will go back to our spreadsheet and I will scan the code for Philip John. So I will do this on Android. For that, on your Android, open Google Lens and simply capture the QR code for Philip John. Once it is captured, below it will show website. When you click on that, It says your response has been recorded. Here, if you check in your form, it shows one response for Philip John. Now, I'll do a few more so that we can get more responses. So, I am going to do Hilal Barclay. And... One more. Now, when you're using iPhone, you can simply use your camera and capture the QR code and open Safari. It says your response has been recorded. Now, if you check in your form, you have three responses. So this is how students can 
record their responses using QR code. Uh, how will they get the QR codes? So the school can provide them the QR codes uh, through the portals, school portals or uh, via emails and they can simply use their uh, smartphones to uh, record their responses or mark their attendance. Now, coming to the last part of our video, uh, but before that, since we have uh, selected multiple choice, our responses were being represented in a uh, pie chart form. If you click on check boxes, your responses will be represented in a bar graph. So it is up to you. You can choose whatever option you want and it will be represented accordingly. Now for the last part, we will create a response destination for this. We will create a new spreadsheet attendance report. A new spreadsheet has been created. Now, when you open this spreadsheet, you can see it shows an attendance report of all the students who have filled in their attendance using the barcode. So, here it shows the date and the time and the student name. So, this is how students can do their attendance using barcode. Hope you liked today's video. If you found it useful, please do like and share, drop in a comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for many more interesting videos. Thank you for watching.